Hey there. Welcome. We're in North Carolina today and it is... Bom, 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 bom. Are you guys ready? Focus. Put your glasses on. Put your glass of 35 degrees Celsius. And what is this dust? What is this dust doing on here? Get out of here. Dust is not welcome in this truck. It's invading my privacy in here. This is my truck, not yours. 35 degrees Celsius, that is hot. That's like 90s Fahrenheit. It's not actually that hot, it's because we're just sitting here. But, I'll explain in a second. Look, what a beautiful day to nose into a spot. Look at that, the grass is green, the sky is blue. That trailer is orange. What a beautiful day. Diesel, don't you agree? Don't you agree? Of course you do, man. You agree with everything I say, because I'm always right. So we're here in Haw River, North Carolina. About 45 minutes west of Raleigh, North Carolina. I like saying it like that, because that's how they say it, North Carolina. Sorry, someone's just walking up beside my truck here. What do you want? looking at his trailer. So I've already driven into Raleigh this morning and unloaded the rest of my freight and I've cleaned up my trailer and I've also set it up. There's uh, two levels in my trailer. I have to manually set up the second level. That's how I stay so fit. So now that I'm done that, I've washed my hands, I've gotten some food to eat. We're headed over to Atlanta, Georgia. We have a trailer that I'm going to switch with over there. I'm going to leave this trailer there and switch and grab a different one. And it's about seven hours from here or so, so we got not quite a full day driving. I'm hoping the trailer's gonna be ready there tonight so that uh, I can go in there 24 hours. So I can go in there then and uh, switch trailers and continue back to wherever that trailer's going. It's just going back to Canada somewhere, that's all I know. Because I can't pick up freight in the States and deliver it in the States. That would be stealing American jobs, right? We don't do that. Bad. So we go down, we bring freight down from Canada, for those of you who are newer and haven't, I haven't explained this to you yet. I'm an international driver, so I, I pick up freight in Canada and I deliver it to the States. So if somebody in Canada hires me to bring their freight down to their American customer for them. That's what I do. And then what happens is another Canadian buys something from the States and they hire me to bring it back up to Canada for them. So it's always Canadians that are hiring me. So I'm working for Canadians and working for Canada. I wish I could do both, but I'm not a dual citizen. Maybe one day, one day, I wouldn't mind that. But I am from Canada myself, if you don't know that. But I spend more time in the United States than I do in Canada. I love it down here. I absolutely love it. If I could ever get citizenship legally, I would make a beeline straight to the south. They got the best weather down here. The nicest people. I think I say this in like every vlogger. You guys know the drill. Whatever. I like it here. On our way to Georgia. We gotta pass through the great state of South Carolina yet. And we'll end up in Atlanta, Georgia. Still six hours away. But man is it beautiful. It is 33 degrees Celsius here. It is hot. I got the AC cranked. I love it. I think I'm gonna get a tan. I'm gonna start working on my trucker tan this year, you know? The whole left side of my body is always darker than the right side because it's the side that's by the window. That's a trucker tan. Yeah, the trees are starting to bud here. Things are starting to turn green. Man, they got short winters down here. This is awesome. Well, we're still here in North Carolina, I believe. I haven't seen any signs from South Carolina yet. Coming up to Spartanburg. This is a big intersection here. One freeway is going off to the right there. We're sticking to the left. Which you won't find me doing very often, if you get what I mean. Usually I would go right. Very far right, but whatever. Today we'll be left. Why not? Just once. Just this time. Still got four and three quarter hours to go. Wow. This truck makes the ride seem a lot faster. For some reason, it doesn't feel like I'm doing the speed limit right now driving this truck, because it's so quiet. I can barely hear anything. Like I can hear the fan inside here blowing the air conditioning at me more than I can hear the engine. 
The only thing that the only thing I can hear is the engine fan when it turns on. It's just remarkable how quiet they make these new trucks. Hey, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? It is, it is hot. Look at him. Look at him panting. Look at you. You're not used to this heat anymore, are you? Summer's coming, buddy. You have to get used to it. Manitoba's gonna be this warm soon. Even though I heard they're getting a snowstorm tonight. <laughs> so we're here at this, uh, what, West Star Travel Plaza? Very small travel plaza. Though, do take notes that it is still paved, even though it's a small one. Mm-hmm. So I uh, just stopped here for uh, a little break. Walk the weasel. I've been driving with the windows all the way down all day. It's been glorious. I know it's a little bit windy here, but... Oh, can you just feel that warmth, that breeze? I'm just gonna leave this in here too, even though the wind is probably killing all my audio. That breeze is so warm. It's like a heater. I feel like a heater is blowing on me right now. Barely fits in there. A dollar. A dollar even for that. Diesel, that's a good deal. That's a good deal, man. A dollar. That's how much every coffee should be. No more than a dollar. Georgia. Georgia rest area. That's actually the Georgia Welcome Center, so I'm assuming this means we just entered Georgia and I missed the sign. How could I miss the sign? They're so big. I don't get it. Anyway, we're at the Georgia Welcome Center. Buses, trucks, and RVs this way. It's funny when four-wheelers think that they're talking about their pickup trucks and the pickup trucks come to this side. I laugh every time. They're talking about the big trucks. The big trucks. The big boys. This is where the big boys park. And the big girls, but it's not as nice when you call them big girls, you know. They're very nice ladies. Let's park right here. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Let's pull those brakes. Come on. There we go. Look at those beautiful trucks. Look at them. Look at this beautiful rest area. The window's a bit dirty here, but look at that. These rest areas are nice in the States. Everywhere in the States has really nice rest areas. In the South, again, I'm a little biased because I love the South. They have extra nice ones. All these trees right here are gonna bloom very soon. You already got some blooming trees over there. And everything's green already, like the grass. I mean, not everything, but so much green here. The temperature is, uh, sitting here, it is 33 degrees Celsius. Diesel, I think we're in heaven. Yeah, let's get ourselves back on the highway here. Beautiful sunset here in Georgia. Check this out. Let's go over this hill and that is nice, that is nice. So we are gonna go about another two hours down the road and stop for night at uh, Pilot. Uh, the load that I'm picking up is not ready today. It'll hopefully, hopefully be ready tomorrow morning or probably tomorrow afternoon. We'll see, so uh, we'll get a bit of an evening again tonight and see where we're going from there. I still don't know if I'm going west or east in Canada. All I know is I'm going back to Canada. Well, by the looks of uh, the highway here, I'm sure you can guess what city we're in. I sort of slowed myself down today so that I wouldn't have to go through Atlanta here during rush hour. I'm hoping it worked. So far, it's not too bad. I don't have to get over a lane here, though. Excuse me. Signal device activated. So we're gonna go around, uh, we're coming at Atlanta right now from the east, from sort of like the northeast on 85. Well, I'm gonna have to stop soon and get these bugs off my windshield. I haven't seen bugs on my windshield like this since last year. I kind of enjoy it, you know, they're, maybe I'll just leave them there. It's a sign of spring. I kind of like it. So here we are, Atlanta, Georgia. Deep, deep in the south. A lot of people parked on the shoulder today. All over the place. I think we're about to hit, yeah, we're about to hit exit 95, which is the bypass. We're gonna go around to the south side of Georgia. 
find us somewhere safe to park. Exit 95B. We want to go into the 285 East. Everybody's slowing down. Anytime, man, he should be uh, advising me what to do here. We want to go towards Augusta and Macon. Macon, bacon. Macon, bacon, and Macon. Is that how you pronounce it, or is it Macon? Macon, Georgia? Take exit 95A on right towards I-285 bypass east. Absolutely. Way ahead of you, woman. I know what I'm doing. This is Georgia. I'm here more often than I'm home. So this... Okay, now we got to pay attention to the signs. Because I have uh, I have taken the wrong way one before. One kilometer. Keep left onto I-285 East. Oh, no, okay. We're on the east right now. I've accidentally turned onto the westbound side once. And that's a pain getting turned around if you don't want to go all the way around the city. You know what I mean? Because the 285 circles the city of Atlanta. Uh, as a truck driver, as a truck this length and this unit cannot, we cannot go into the city unless we're delivering in the city. We have to go around on the 285. So if you're coming towards Atlanta, don't miss the exit. You might get a ticket. I don't know what they would do or how they would know you're not delivering in the city, but you, know, you get busted, you get busted. So don't get busted. Keep left onto I-285 East. All right, all right, we're going. We made it. We conquered Atlanta. We got all the way through. Man, is there construction there. They do construction at night in a lot of parts of the states, so they're smart. Unlike most places in Canada where they'll do it during rush hour. But anyway, they were setting up a whole pile of construction while I was going through there, and that's almost as bad as rush hour, but at least it's not during rush hour, you know what I mean? I don't get why people don't do road work everywhere at night. Doesn't that just make a lot more sense? It's safer for the workers, less traffic. I don't know. Well, that's just the way I would do it, but I'm not in charge. I just like to think I am. So we're on Interstate 85, headed south. We're gonna go a little bit south of Atlanta and uh, stop at a truck stop down here and enjoy us a good evening. Maybe watch a movie, edit some vlogs, sleep in maybe, maybe, I don't know. Uh, I don't think the load will be ready first thing in the morning, but I gotta be ready just in case. But if I'm right, I might get a sleep in. We'll see. I'm pretty sure we found the last parking spot here. But here we are now to get some work done on the vlog. I uh, have to upload some today because I have about five vlogs that are ready to upload, but none that are on the internet yet. So the vlog that you watched a couple days ago was uploaded from right here in Georgia. I upload as few as possible in the States because I have a mobile data pack for the for Canada. And it's cheaper for me to upload up there, but if I have to, I can upload from down here as well on mobile Wi-Fi. So that's what I'm doing. I'll upload two or three so that I can get up to Canada again and then upload the rest from there. I prefer to upload from home because there I have unlimited data, right? Sometimes you might take that unlimited data for granted because I don't have that. And I always go over, always go over on my data. Uh, I already have a deal with my cell phone provider, Rogers. They know that I go over every month because I'm a YouTuber and I use an excessive amount of data. So, uh, I have a good deal with them, but it's actually cheaper for me to go over on my data and pay the overage charges than it is to buy the next level data pack, which is just massive. It would be like 500 gigs a month, and I don't need that much. I use probably about, ooh, 30, 14, no, but 30 to 40, I'd say closer to 40 gigs a month mobile. The rest I use at home. Uh, that's just, you know, watching YouTube, uploading, stuff like that. And I'm pretty modest about my use already. I don't use it too much. When I do watch YouTube videos on the road, it's always in lowest quality possible, like in 144p, so I never get to see the high definition video. Uh, and I also don't upload my videos in 1080p. I really wish I could, but uh, from home sometimes I do. But in order to save data and save money i do it in 720 because i know that the majority of my audience you guys are watching me right now on a mobile device which is probably about three to five inches big and 720 you don't even really notice the difference between 720 and 1080 if you're really technologically advanced in your brain and your eyeballs you might notice it but i'm sure you're okay with it right nobody really 
mines being at 720. Uh, I do that for to save on data. Otherwise, it would cost me even more. <laughs> I'd probably go upwards of like, I don't know. I don't know how much extra I would use. I've never tried that. I know that it would be more expensive though, and I'm already paying like a couple hundred dollars a month just to have my data plan going. But, oh well. <laughs> I need to shave soon, look at this. Or trim. This is never being shaved off. And it's another beautiful morning out there. Check that out. Just woke up here and uh, stretching my brain out, trying to wake up. Oh, I fell asleep last night, so I didn't actually get to say goodnight to you guys, but hey, good night and good morning at the same time. Look at this, I actually, literally, I just, just stood up and moved all my stuff back to the back here. Uh, my trailer's ready, so I'm gonna go pick that up, and we're gonna make that tomorrow's vlog. So I hope you tune in anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time tomorrow. We're gonna go pick up the trailer. I don't know where it's going yet, but I'm gonna find out once I get there. So you'll have to watch tomorrow to find out if we're going east or if we're going west. I kind of hope we're going west. I wouldn't mind going home for a little bit, but if I'm going east, that's okay too. I'll see you tomorrow then.